We're rolling! Hello! This is a favorite of mine. It's like, it's just a standard hobby servo. If I want this placed somewhere, what I'm used to be doing is I take another favorite, the hot glue gun, and I just go and wonka. Ching! And that way, I made this one. Ching! Sometimes if I wonder what to do, I just set something up like this and, and I look at it. And this particular thing, it gave me an idea to uh, try and carve out invisible magnetic rays, uh, which may sound a little crazy, but try and follow me. I was playing around with that and uh, figured what if I mounted a motor on there. Ching. And what if this, oops, there it is. What if that was a drill? And then I found this material. It's uh, it's kind of soft. It's it's people use it to you know put flowers in. It's uh, it's easy to you know to cut and poke and drill, and, uh, and you can like cut it just like that. But still, it's hard enough to you know keep a shape. Hmm. This is a very strong little magnet, rare earth something. And you know, if you have two of those and you and you put them uh, pole to pole, you can feel this strange, uh, I call it a force field, I don't know what the word is, but like there's something there that you can't see. It's, it's this, there's some weird soft cushion of force, I don't know. And I, I would like to, you know, try to make a machine that would cut that force field out in this material. That was the idea. Out goes glue, out goes wood, enter Mega Beams. Do you know these? You can buy them from uh, megabeam.eu. They are also supplying um, uh, accessories like ball bearings and stuff. The first thing I made was of course something like this. I always needed a thing like that. And then I made this machine. Oh, here is an analog magnetic sensor and I placed a magnet on a stick here. There's a spinning core and as you can see the sensor and the drill always have the same distance to that core. There's a microcontroller running a simple program that slowly moves the platform towards the drill and sensor. If there's no magnetism detected by the sensor, it moves on, but if there is, the drill and sensor are pulled back and that way I'm carving out a 3D representation of the field detected by the sensor. The rest of the machine may look complex, but it's just two frames on top of each other resting on ball bearings, so they can move in like 2D. To keep things simple, I only made the servers pull the frame, and then I hooked up uh, some rubber bands to pull them back. It's not pretty, but it works. I'm not sure how good video this is, but me, I can watch this machine for hours. There's just something amazing about seeing it carve out the unknown from within the block. And you know, instead of the magnet and the magnetic sensor, you could of course also, uh, you know, place another sensor and another invisible thing to sense. It would be pretty easy to, you know, to change uh, both the magnet and the sensor. One idea could be like, uh, perhaps instead of the magnet, if you were placing a, a, like a speaker that would make beeping sounds and then instead of the sensor, uh, the magnetic sensor, have a, a microphone uh, to sense the volume from the speaker. And that way you could like carve out in 3D, a, a, you know, a shape of how the, how the volume from, from the speaker was like moving out. That would be pretty strange and cool. Anyway, at this setup, I just wanted to see how this sensor in that position would register the magnetic flux around this magnet while placed in that position towards, you know, the whole setup. And this is what came out of it. <clears throat> now, 
you can see it's been on its way to the center core here while forming these two blobs of magnetic something and then I wanted to record this so I was just moving some cables and then it went berserk so I took it off before it got finished but hey it's pretty cool I'm pretty sure some of you out there know better materials to carve in and uh, you know could come up with ideas to improve this machine I'm very interested please let me know about it in the comments thank you very much